In this video, I'm going to discuss about LoRaWAN. I want to give a quick and alternative explanation for those who really don't have any idea about what is LoRaWAN. LoRaWAN is a communication protocol that uses LoRa as a physical layer. This is maintained by LoRa Alliance to ensure that there's an interoperability between LoRaWAN technologies and devices. LoRa is just like AM, FM, FSK, and other different wireless modulations. If you want more technical reference, the Things Network is a good website to look. For me to give a somehow basic explanation about LoRaWAN, I want to compare it to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is short range, while LoRaWAN is long range. The technology LoRaWAN is classified is LP1. This is also known as Low Power Wide Area Network. Why Wi-Fi is wireless local area network. LoRaWAN has a very large range. It can reach up to 10 kilometers, while Wi-Fi is just a few meters. LoRaWAN has gateways. This is very critical on the LoRaWAN standard. Why Wi-Fi has hotspots and access points. Our devices connect to hotspots and the hotspots are connected to the internet. While on LoRaWAN, it's the gateways that is connected as well on the internet. This is the architecture of a LoRaWAN. Here on the left are the devices or the LoRaWAN end nodes. You see there are gas monitors, there are fire detectors. All, are the, all of these are scattered far away from the, from the concentrator or gateway. These gateways are connected to the internet and then transmits the data that it collects from these nodes so that the data will be accessible over the internet. It will transfer, transfer that to what we call the network server. The network server will tra transfer those data to the application server. This is actually how LoRaWAN achieves IoT. Because remember that the difference or the distance between the end nodes and the concentrator is 10 kilometers. That is very far. So this is very ideal for Internet of Things. LoRaWAN is also concerned on telemetric data, while Wi-Fi is concerned on streaming data. Same as what we're doing right now, which is streaming YouTube. Or you can also do is watch Netflix or other streaming applications, or just watching or listening to different platforms. While on, on LoRaWAN, we're, also, we're only concerned on the telemetric data. These are actually sensors, sensor data. This is an example dashboard of a LoRaWAN application in which you can see the level of the tank, you can see the temperature humidity data, which are very small data. These are just 2 to 4 bytes. LoRaWAN is also concerned with the end nodes or the devices, while Wi-Fi is, con is mainly concerned on smartphones and laptops. Also, LoRaWAN is de really designed for things, while Wi-Fi is designed for people, but also you can have IoT projects using Wi-Fi, but LoRaWAN is only designed really for things. I hope you find this video interesting and useful. I will put more contents about LoRaWAN. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe on my channel. Thank you.